So I know that you uh, probably opened this video expecting some, uh, you know, some major piece of uh, wisdom from me. Uh, you know, it's kind of me revealing the keys to how to not feel like life sucks or something. But I'm just telling you up ahead of time. Uh, I'm basically ranting in this video. <laughs> Uh, maybe you'll find something to glean from it and if you will please tell me because uh, that would be very helpful uh, but yeah it's, it's basically a rant so you know if, you, if you're just looking for knowledge uh, you'll find it in the other videos so what do I want to talk about I want to talk about how life is fucking cruel sometimes and fucking hard <laughs> so fucking hard sometimes I mean, you could do all the right things in the world. You could do everything just perfect. And life is still uh, brutal to you. Of course, you could counter the argument and say, hey, if it's still brutal, it means you didn't do everything perfect. But I don't know. I don't know what to say. I mean, um, you know, I meditate. I work out. I do the business thing. And um, still, there's resistance. There's resistance from uh, from the outside. There's so many like things that were supposed to be resolved sooner are taking time to get resolved. I mean, I guess it's just part of life. I guess you just have to fucking. bear it out <laughs> until it's over I mean um, yeah it's, it's it's funny as a guy who had uh, suicidal tendencies at age 18 and you know the whole bipolar thing ups and downs how from that I went to a guy turned into a guy who actually fights beyond anything or anyone that I personally met Maybe besides the, the people in a war, but even they, you know, they get this fed this uh, agenda. So they're not really fighting for themselves. They're fighting for, you know, something bigger. <laughs> so it's, even there, it's kind of different. But I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm every every day of hardship is a day where I gleam more and more lessons about how to live my life how to do things right it's also every time you have resistance it's also a great motivator because you don't have a choice you can't rest on your laurels when the world is closing down on you you have to keep moving so you know i'm making this video in a moment of frustration trying trying to find the the meaning the the lesson behind it and then you know that begs the question uh, could it be that sometimes shit just happens and there's no lesson behind it you know and uh, it's just uh, a bad thing that happened <laughs> i mean sure you know you can we live in a very uh, if you're watching this video you're probably living a very comfortable life regardless of what you think uh you know vis-a-vis -vis, uh, countries where you know <laughs> your mom might get raped or uh, or uh, you might get kidnapped and that's like a high likely possibility you know like a reality so it's all very fucking confusing <laughs> and you know I glean many lessons from it and I always try to think like okay maybe it's trying to teach me that you know, life is short, so don't worry about it. Maybe it's trying to teach me that you always want to have abundance. And that if you, as long as you just have enough abundance, shit won't happen to you. But I just think there's no final lesson to gleam for it. There's no... It's not like, oh, now I know it, so it's done. It's just, you, you just get more and more refined as a person. And these things you go through, these painful situations, they force you to stop thinking. <laughs> because uh, if you think while going through them, 
you're not gonna make it because your thoughts are not built to be positive your thoughts are built to well they, I don't even know what they're built for I mean they don't really work when you're reacting so if you really start reacting and being negative about it you're never gonna come out of the situation and uh, you know you have to teach yourself how to stop thinking so I intended to make this video for myself you know I asked myself like hey um, Let's record the video because you know I'm really not in the mood but let's record it anyway even though I am in a really um, you know kind of angry mood uh, don't give a fuck mood but uh, so I said I, just, I said let's just record it for myself but I'm going to upload it anyway hope you do <laughs> hope there's not like any backlash from it but yeah, I mean, that's just um, my thoughts, my opinion on the subjects of the indecencies and, uh, and hard things about life. There you go. Enjoy. By the way, I just wanted to finish this video on a good note uh, because I don't, I don't like finishing on a bad note. Uh, I just want to let you know that you know, I just kind of allowed myself to rant and be pissed off, which is something I don't do very often. And I think everybody feels that way sometimes. But every time that happens to me, every time life is like, bam, like bitch slaps me. And, oh no, bitch, bitch slap is like that. And, um, you know, really uh, something, you know, unfair, quote unquote, happens or unexpected. Every time that happens, I do gain a lesson from it. So I wasn't, you know, you know, so when that happens, the, the reason I was ranting, I was like, uh, is this like, uh, does it mean this? Uh, is, it, is it this? Is this the lesson? Uh, the reason I was like that is because I am actively in the back of my mind looking for a lesson every single time and every single time I find one. So the guy that, or the girl that kind of uh, has something bad happen and keep, keeps going instead of stopping, uh, they get a lesson. They basically get a reward from it, a spiritual reward, but also a practical reward. So the lesson that, you know, in the past I've gained lessons like, for example, the habits, the, what do you think I learned about the anchor factor, about the fact that you have to anchor yourself with a consistent daily habit, you know, from having tough shit happen to me and being thrown around. Or where do you think I learned that you have, you know, how to create perfect consistency? Again, from being a perfectionist, not being able to be consistent. Where did I learn about massive action? From not taking enough massive action and failing. Where did I learn about the fact that you have to be consistent and keep going even once you succeeded and that growth is a must? Well, I, I stopped growing at some point even though I was successful and then I got miserable and I, I destroyed it basically. So I learned everything from uh, the tough, tough, tough experience and even shit that happens that doesn't really have a reason, you do gain benefits from it. So, and sorry for the wind, I'll put it closer. So, in this uh, example uh, of kind of, you know, what I went through today, <laughs> um, the lesson that I gained, uh, as you can see, was to flow. It's like wherever you are, just flow with it. And even if you're like angry, pissed, you know, just flow and make a video like that you know just work from that place instead of being like oh now I'm angry so now it's ruined uh, just attack life from that angle so uh, as Bruce Lee says be like water <laughs> by the way if you're wondering why I'm walking so much uh, I did a blood test today and they told me I'm not allowed to work out today because I told them that I work out every day so I decided to take a walk to where I like to study and it's a three hour walk. So this is what I consider a workout. So fuck them. <laughs> you know, people, uh, people like me love to break the rules. It's like uh, just doing in spite. Like I could have just driven there in the car or something and with 20 minutes. I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna do the videos and read and do everything on the way there <laughs> and do a workout. So I like to get my way. Anyway, I hope that video, this video makes sense. Um, Hope you appreciate the fact that I was like really honest, really authentic. Um, you know, this might either not get any views and any support, 
or it might get like a lot of support um, we'll just have to see and um, again thanks for watching thanks for being with me thanks for um, being along with me in this journey like I know it's, it sounds funny because it's just like you're like oh man I'm just watching the video you know why why is that so special but I, I, I honestly didn't know that having you know people that you know look up to me and follow me would you know I always had people like that but people now, now that I have people that actively day by day follow me I mean uh, it's very unique it's very special it's very uh, liberating so um, thanks for thanks for being here I really appreciate it honestly keep being here <laughs> I'll make sure it's worth your while see you soon